And finally, the historic Campbellton Picture House reopens this weekend after a major refurbishment. Over a century old, it remains one of only a handful of cinemas where the auditorium is designed in the style of a European courtyard. As Claire McNeil finds out, these features have been restored to their former glory, with a few modern additions too. Back in 1913, Campbelltown locals piled in excitedly to see this, The Raj's Casket, one of the first films shown here. It made a huge impact on this remote Scottish peninsula and meant people could, for the first time, go to the cinema in their hometown. The man behind it was Peter Armour's grandfather after he saw how successful cinema was in the cities. It was then run by his father before he took it over himself in the 70s, when a movie ticket cost just 60 pence. When Greece came out, this was going to be one of the big movies of the year. I said, we're booking this film for a fortnight. My father was horrified. He said, we've never had a film for a fortnight. It won't do. So on the Monday, father said, well, I'll go down and open the doors. Got a panicky phone call to the house. You'll need to come down at once. So I can hear it down. Goodness me, there was a queue. I hadn't seen a queue in years. So this was a wonderful feeling to start. And I think that was a really our most successful film. It's undergone many changes over the decades and closed in 2014 for its long overdue restoration. But it was important to ensure that some treasures were preserved. This picture house was designed as an atmospheric cinema, a very popular trend at the time which gave the impression of being outside in an exotic Mediterranean garden or courtyard. The screen here had a sky painted on the ceiling with moving white clouds projected across it. And on either side of the screen were structures known here as wee hooses. The atmospheric interior is terribly important across the world. There are very, very few that are left that are operating. To have one and to be able to make it uh, feasible to restore it is very important for the history of cinema. We also are very lucky to have the space to add a second screen. Now this was vital to make a financial case for the cinema in the future. It reopens to the public this week, marking a new chapter in its long and colourful history. Claire McNeil, STV News, Campbelltown. Rona will be here at 10.